there's shooting. Of course, that's right up my alley. Uh, and there's just all sorts of things, and you can go in the winter. And uh, the one that I think sounds cool is where they, you ski behind a horse. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh. And then there's a picture, I'm like, oh, that sounds cool. I'd probably break my neck. Oh, my stars. They even have cowgirl weeks, ladies. And I actually looked into this. It's not young girls. It's ladies that are more grown-ups like us. And they go and they ride the horses out to herd the cattle and just have a big cow for a week. Oh, oh wow. So, well, no. Oh, uh, what's in the rock? It's not to meet men. These are some more pictures from that same place. Uh, you see that you are out in nature. And to be secluded... People don't understand this sometimes. If you're going to go somewhere that's secluded and nicely done, where you've got great meals, great service, and things to do, it's not going to be cheap. People go, oh, I want a cheap place out in the middle of nowhere. Well, you could go out here on the yeah. <laughs> and just pitch a tent and have a great time. But if you want amenities and you want it done well, or you feel like you've taken, been taken care of, and you want seclusion, you know, it's not, these Duke ranches, they are not cheap, but oh my stars. What a family reunion or, you know, a group of friends get away that would be. So that's a, something you may not have thought about. Um, the trends for ranches this year are, it, it, the, that same place in Montana got in touch and said, hey, we've got a whole thing where we've got classroom space set up, we've got great Wi-Fi if you want to bring your kids here and let them do their online school here. And then you can work remotely because a lot of people are doing that. Yeah. So, um, if you can work remotely and you would like to educate your children in a totally fascinating, unique place, this could really work. So, and there's just some more pictures. I thought were really great. I like this little boy. Why? Oh, he's probably better than I would be. I think. Whoa. Okay. Another quick little thing. Let's talk about uh, steamboat. Steamboat. Cruising on the rivers of the U.S. Previously, people would say, "What about?" Cruising like on the Mississippi or something, and I'd have to go, well, guys, I just don't recommend it because they had these crappy old ships that they brought in and they tried to get them up to grade. One of them burned. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So, you know, no, for a long time I just could not recommend any of those. Now things have changed, just in time for more of an interest in the U.S. Uh, there's actually a couple of new ships. Uh, and this is a company I work with, American Queen Steamboat. And they, you know, the ships are actually steamboat style. And so they have, um, you know, kind of old-fashioned looking uh, interiors, which goes with the steamboat thing. They go all over and they, you know, some of the cruises are, like one I realized I never thought about, cruise through Tennessee while the leaves are changing. I'm like, well, I never thought of that. That's really cool. And a lot of them start in New Orleans and it's in Mississippi. And I love this picture that I found. I, I've heard this lady play in New Orleans because I remember she had played outdoors so much that her clarinet, instead of being, that they're normally made out of this really black wood, being a former band director, I know this thing. Her clarinet was brown. It had been out in the sun so much and it faded out. Like, well, she has played outdoors a lot. I don't, I didn't get to, I don't know her name. But anyway, so there's some pictures like from the, the back. Yes. That company also, because I've looked at a couple things, if you're a Civil War buff, they have cruises there that ain't that Civil War history. Yes. Wow. Exactly. Yeah, that would be, I mean, there's a lot of the country. Yeah, they originate in New Orleans. Well, some of them do. Oh, some of them do. And uh, I think I listed, let's see. Well, here's an itinerary. I mean, there's, you know, jazz. There's an itinerary, like going from Louisville up to Pittsburgh. Uh, I put those ladies in there because it could be a great little family trip, you know, mom and daughter. So the advantages of these cruises are the small ship size, which means you've got more people taking care of you. Uh, also, I forgot to say, with COVID, whether it's a hotel or a, a ranch or a ship, everybody's operating just like restaurants at less than 100%. Uh, occupancy. So that means more space between you and everybody, and boy, are they cleaning everything. Everybody's masked. So the uh, hospitality, travel industry, they are really on top of it. So anyway, fewer people is good. Uh, some of the, you see it says the Mississippi, the Ohio, the Tennessee, all these different rivers. Uh, and the Columbia and Snake Rivers up there, there's, you know, like wine regions. So there's just some really, really neat options. 
and there's a thing called wander list that I'm going to be talking to people about as well. So that's my little ending. Okay, my prize. Uh, What's right. the date on my trip that I'm going on the national parks? When does it leave? But you take the train and you're down in the New River Gorge. So you're down in this 1,500 foot gorge wow. on the train and you just have all these collars exploding oh, above you on the hillsides. Yeah. yeah. And if you do that one, you can stay where presidents have stayed. Ooh. You can stay at the Greenbrier yeah. and take a tour oh, yeah, of the nice. bunker. Yeah, I've heard about that. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, yeah so they built a golf course there. Yeah. Sammy Sneed's own golf course. Wow. So if you like to golf. Yeah. So, all right. So, speakers, we need a speaker for next week. Who would like to speak? Don't everybody talk about Bob, you were originally down for September, but I don't know if you came to Bob. Yeah, if there's going to be a computer here next week, I will. There will be a computer here. John, John will be here at least. I have family coming in starting Tuesday. Um, probably won't make it. Yeah, I, I probably won't make it because we've got about 15 people coming in oh, wow. for my son. He's getting ready to leave on his mission. So we have grandparents and so nieces. Can you bring the computer? Yeah, John's got a computer. Yeah, bring the computer. Yeah, that's no problem. He brought it before when I couldn't make it. Yeah, he did. So. Is he going to facilitate the meeting or the vice, who's the vice president? Vice president's Dave, so I'll give Dave. If not, Gus. I can do it. There you go. Gus is going to facilitate the meeting. <laughs> All right. Cool. Referrals. <coughs> Normally we fill out the thing, but. Who, who is now in charge of the getting speaker? Well, that was always the secretary. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if I understand, because it was always Susan. Yeah, she would have asked. So, so just do right. me. There you go. 
That's that fine print. Yeah. We had the lawyer put that down. All right. So referrals. Anybody? Bob? I had three. There's three. Pam? I no. Major? Paula? I'm going to have to start keeping track of that again, huh? Yeah. yeah. We need to keep track of the number of girls and the number of dollars. Yep. And normally Dave does that, but he's yeah. not here today. So let's do numbers. Somebody else brought right now. I gave a referral to Jeff Forbes or somebody that was looking for a tutor. Okay. Okay. Well, Forbes? Yeah. Okay. Forbes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There were, of course, uh, numerous times over the past <laughs> two months, unfortunately. Uh -oh. Go visit them again this coming Friday. All right. for this group. Not for this group. I got a health insurance quote from Sherry. Okay, there's six. Mr. Reedsman, um, he purchased a drug for me back in either January or February. Well, it's finally to the point that we need to So now you can beat your drum. He's finally buying you the dust. All right. Gus? <laughs> yes? Really? 